Samsung, a titan of the tech world and a name synonymous with Android smartphones. From their humble beginnings in the mobile space to their current position as a global leader, Samsung has released a staggering number of phones under a wide array of series. It can be a labyrinth for even the most dedicated tech enthusiast. S series, Z series, F E, A M, F X cover. What does it all mean? Today, we're cutting through the noise. We are going to explain every major Samsung phone series, from the flagships that push the boundaries of technology to the ultra durable devices built for the toughest conditions. And we'll even take a look back at some of the series that paved the way for the devices we see today. Before we dive in, what's your favorite Samsung phone of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Now, let's get into it. Let's start at the absolute pinnacle of Samsung's mobile empire, the Galaxy S series. This is not just a phone series, it's a statement. For over a decade, the S series has been Samsung's standard bearer, the vessel for their most advanced conventional smartphone technology. It's the series that directly competes with the best the industry has to offer year after year. The target audience for the S series is the consumer who accepts no compromises. They are early adopters, creative professionals, and power users who demand the fastest performance, the most versatile camera, and the most vibrant display, all wrapped in a premium package. The history of the S series is the history of Android innovation itself. The original Galaxy S in 2010, with its Super AMOLED screen, was a revelation. The Galaxy S3 introduced a nature-inspired design that sold in tens of millions. The S6 marked a pivotal shift to premium glass and metal designs. The S10 brought the Infinity O display, minimizing bezels further. More recently, the Ultra moniker has redefined the top end. The S20 Ultra introduced introduced staggering zoom capabilities, and the S21 Ultra was the first S-series phone to support the S Pen, signaling a major strategic shift. Today, the S-series continues to be the showcase for Samsung's best processors, most advanced computational photography, brightest and smoothest dynamic displays, and deepest integration of artificial intelligence features into the user experience. But what if you desire that core flagship DNA without the absolute peak price tag? This is the brilliant niche filled by the Galaxy FE series. FE, standing for Fan Edition, is Samsung's answer to the law of diminishing return. It's a series crafted by listening to the community, identifying the most loved features of the S series flagships, and packaging them into a more accessible device. The target audience is the smart consumer, the value conscious enthusiast who wants 80 to 90% of the flagship experience at a significant discount. The formula is consistent and effective. Take the flagship processor of that year's S series, pair it with a high quality, high refresh rate AMOLED display, and include a highly competent main camera, the cost savings are intelligently implemented in areas like the build materials, opting for a durable and well-made glastic back instead of glass, or by using a slightly less advanced secondary camera. The first widely successful model, the Galaxy S 20 FE, was a massive hit because it understood its audience perfectly. It delivered the speed and screen quality users craved. Subsequent FE FE models have continued this legacy, offering a powerful gateway to the premium Galaxy ecosystem and proving to be one of Samsung's most strategic and popular lineups. Now, let's venture from the pinnacle of the present to the bleeding edge of the future with the Galaxy Z series. This is where Samsung is not just competing, it's creating the market. The Z series is the home of Samsung's foldable display technology, a bold and expensive bet on the next evolution of the smartphone form factor. The audience here is twofold, the trendsetter who wants a device that turns heads and makes a statement, and the ultimate multitasker who sees the potential of a larger, flexible screen. The Z series is split into two distinct paths. The Galaxy Z Fold is the productivity powerhouse. It's a phone that unfolds into a small tablet, offering an expansive canvas for running multiple apps side by side, immersive media consumption, and a truly unique mobile computing experience. The Galaxy Z Flip is a marvel of modern engineering and a nod to nostalgia. It's a full-size smartphone that folds in half to become incredibly compact and pocketable, with a small cover screen for quick notification. With each generation, Samsung has systematically addressed the initial concerns about foldables. The hinge mechanism has become more robust, the foldable glass more durable, and water resistance has been added, turning these futuristic concepts into viable, everyday flagship devices. Of course, we cannot discuss Samsung's premium legacy without paying homage to a fallen giant, the Galaxy Note series. 
For a decade, the Note was Samsung's other flagship, a device that carved its own path and cultivated a fiercely loyal fan base. The Note wasn't just a big phone, it was a philosophy. It championed productivity and creativity on the go. Its target audience was the professional, the creator, the power user who lived by the mantra, go big or go home. The soul of the Note was its defining feature, the S Pen. This was no simple stylus. It was an active digitizer offering unparalleled precision, pressure sensitivity, and a suite of software features called Air Air commands that turn the phone into a digital notepad, a remote control, and a creative canvas. The Note series consistently pushed the boundaries of screen size, proving the market's appetite for phablets. While the Galaxy Note as a distinct brand is no more, its spirit is very much alive. In a move of strategic consolidation, Samsung integrated the S Pen and its silo directly into the Galaxy S Ultra, effectively merging its two flagship lines and ensuring the Note's legacy of productivity continues. Moving down from the flagship tier, we arrive at what is arguably Samsung's most important lineup for global market share, the Galaxy A series. This is Samsung's sprawling mid-range, designed to bring a great mobile experience to the masses. The A series is all about balance, offering a curated selection of premium features at a wide range of affordable price points. The target audience is incredibly diverse, from students getting their first smartphone to adults looking for a reliable daily driver that won't break the bank. The evolution of the A series has been remarkable. Initially a more premium feeling mid-range line, it has now expanded to cover everything from the entry level to the upper mid-range that borders on FE territory. The key to its success is Samsung's feature trickle-down strategy. Features that were once exclusive to the S series, such as vibrant AMOLED displays, in-display fingerprint sensors, multi-lens camera systems, and even optical image stabilization now regularly appear in the A series. While they they may not use the most powerful processors, they are more than capable for everyday tasks, social media, and casual gaming, all while offering excellent battery life. For the even more budget conscious and online savvy consumer, Samsung offers the Galaxy M and Galaxy F series. These two lineups operate with a similar philosophy, maximize specifications for the price, primarily for online retail channels. This strategy allows Samsung to compete aggressively with other value-focused brands. The target audience is the pragmatic buyer who meticulously compares spec sheets and seeks the absolute best hardware for their money. The defining characteristic of the Galaxy M series has always been its monstrous batteries. M series phones are battery champions, often equipped with capacities that can last two days or more, making them ideal for users who are always on the move. The Galaxy F series, often developed in partnership with specific e-commerce platforms, also focuses on delivering strong specifications, particularly in the display and camera departments tailored to the tastes of a younger demographic. These series demonstrate Samsung's agility in responding to specific market demands and competing effectively at every single price point. Finally, we have a series built for a completely different world, the Galaxy X cover. This is Samsung's line of rugged, durable smartphones. These devices are not designed to win beauty contests. They are designed to survive in the harshest environments. The target audience includes construction workers, emergency first responders, logistics professionals, and outdoor adventurers, anyone whose phone is a critical tool that must endure drops, dust, water, and extreme temperatures. X-Cover phones are built like tanks, boasting military-grade MILS TD810 certifications and high IP ratings for water and dust ingress protection. They prioritize practicality over aesthetics, featuring tactile, programmable physical buttons that can be used with gloves, enhanced screen sensitivity for use in wet conditions, and a feature that is a relic on mainstream phones but a godsend in the field. Field, a removable, swappable battery. The X Cover series is a testament to the fact that a smartphone's value isn't always in its processor speed or camera pixels, but in its sheer reliability when it matters most. So, after hearing all this, my question for you is, what were the Samsung phones you've used until now? Let me know your personal Galaxy history in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more deep dives into the world of technology. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.